the Windrush scheme uh, all arises uh, out of uh, uh, people who uh, have been living in the UK or were living here before 1973, uh, or they may have actually returned to their own country after having lived here for many years in a settled capacity, uh, who didn't have uh, documents such as passports and things like that uh, to be able to prove that uh, they had uh, the right to work here, access uh, uh, various entitlements such as public funds, uh, also to rent property uh, and various uh, services. Uh, in April 2018, the uh, Home Secretary uh, announced uh, that they would be setting uh, up a uh, task force uh, in order to uh, assist these people and they also uh, uh, set up a helpline where people could uh, uh, phone to find out information and to find out uh, what the process is to go through that process uh, and uh, uh, obtain the necessary documentation so that they could access those particular services. There are forms uh, which are being prepared by the uh, uh, Home Office. Uh, if you're uh, uh, somebody who's already resident in the UK and you are eligible under the Windrush scheme, then there's an application form for that. If you're living abroad and you uh, are eligible to come back to the UK under the Windrush scheme, then there is a form for that. Uh, you'll be happy to note that there is actually no fee for an application under the Windrush scheme and that's important because currently any application that you make uh, either in country or for a visa attracts uh, quite a substantial fee. Well the process is that you would have to enroll your biometrics uh, which means that they, the Home Office would want to uh, have your uh, photograph taken and your fingerprints taken and uh, again you'll be happy to note that there is no fee in respect of uh, enrolling your biometric. Well any application uh, under the Windrush scheme uh, uh, will be subject to uh, current uh, immigration law and uh, policy so all the current rules will apply. The Home Office uh, will obviously look at uh, existing Home Office records uh, and also uh, any records that they might hold of such persons in other government departments. One thing uh, that uh, people will be happy with is that uh, uh, none of this information will be handed over to immigration enforcement. The task force will consider whether the, that particular person is already a British citizen uh, or uh, uh, had indefinitely to uh, uh, remain or indefinitely to enter and there are uh, various uh, circumstances that they will look at uh, before uh, granting them uh, uh, the documentation uh, to confirm their status in the UK. Once they've got that status, of course, they will be able to then uh, access uh, uh, the right to work, uh, access the National Health Service and the various other benefits and entitlements that they would be able to access just like any other citizen uh, resident in the UK. So that's a, a brief synopsis of what the Windrush uh, scheme is all about.